Hi guys and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you what I've been up to in my single player. Now, this is a I've I've got Buildcraft installed and Equivalent Exchange, hence the Dark Matter shovel. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been playing around with that and mining quite a lot, you could say. And to be honest, this is a pretty demanding mod when you've got as many things uh, going on at once as I've got. So the frame rate right now is extremely low. And because I'm recording, it's even lower. I'm guessing I've got about 10 frames per second. So that's not very good. And um, I'm actually going to try start recording in uh, slightly better frames per second from now. But this video probably won't really look that great. But this time it's because of the gameplay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys around everything. But first I'm going to turn off the mines. Now I've got all the mines wired up by a redstone to this point and that controls the water. So I've turned the mines off and hopefully eventually the lag will decrease a bit but it might not. So I've got all these mines out here. All the ones with fences around them like this are ones that are finished. They go right down to bedrock. And this is insanely laggy. I've even got op Optifine on as well. I'll put a link for that in the description. I'll put a link for all the mods I'm using at the moment in the description. Um, and that's not really helping the uh, frame rate much, to be honest. It was helping it a bit before, but now I'm recording. It's pretty rough. So this is one of my mines in progress. And basically, I'm powering these combustion engines here with oil and cooling them with water which come in each of these pipes and so you see it's got about half oil and it's full of water which is good keeps it cool with, when it's green like this that means that it's running it's warm and it's running efficiently if it gets orange or even red that can be a bit dangerous and uh, I have had it happen a couple of times that the engines explode and leave a pretty good sized crater it resembles TNT in terms of crater size okay and basically I've got four mines going at a time including some pretty big ones out this way or a big one which is this mine here And uh, this mine, I measured it at about 35 blocks by 40 blocks. And just to give you an idea of size, um, one layer. I'm, I'm not. I can't really. I'm not sure about that in my head. I think 35 by 40 is about 1400 or something. Um, I might be wrong. I, I, I'm just estimating. And given that a diamond pickaxe uh, mines. I think it's 1,500 and something blocks. Basically, one layer of this mine almost would run out a diamond pickaxe, and that's been going for it's probably three hours, and it's only gone down about eight layers. So it's not that impressive in terms of speed. But what is more impressive when I get over, if I can get past all the lag and get back to my building. This is pretty tough. I'm really sorry about this guys. I didn't know it was going to be quite so laggy on the court. And here, if I can get in the door that would be helpful. I've got all my stone and stuff as you can see going into this chest here and I've got the gem of eternal density with the uh, equivalent exchange mod and it's condensing all my stuff down into diamond ore and so hence I've got 
dark matter. I'm starting to get dark matter tools. Uh, what else have I got? I don't have it on me, but I've got the uh, uh, some ring which I've oh, got. Oh, this is why I've got so much lag. Oh, oh, that's just poor. That's just poor. It really is poor. I'm so sorry about that, guys. All those items on the ground. So these are these diamond pipes here. They are basically filters, and I forgot to take the uh, filter out of that one, and so I had all the stuff spewing on the floor. And now I'm at a much better frames per second, probably up, probably up about early mid twenties, which is a lot better than what I had. So I've got a lot of chests full of cobble here, as you can see put all this extra cobble in here and you can see it instantly is condensed down that's the sort of beauty of the equivalent exchange and it's not really um, so it's not really newbie like it's not real like, easy to get a lot of diamonds um, it takes 512 cobblestone just to make one diamond when you, when you condense it down and that is 8 stacks I think do that in my head quickly. Yeah, okay, anyway, and the um, little filter over here brings all my ores and stuff into here, which then gets piped out via this, this little engine here, sucks into the pipe. The valuables go in there, uh, and the iron goes into this furnace, and the gold goes into this furnace, with coal being distributed between there there and also there's a pipe which goes out there towards the uh, um, the engines that are pumping the water or powering the engine that's yeah pumping the water and then so basically the iron comes in here gets pulled out and into this chest and as you can see I've got lots of iron and a bit of gold there as well and so that's the, that's what happens when uh, you leave an engine on a bit long gets a bit warm, so I'll just turn these off since they're not really being used at the moment. Oh, I'm so glad that my frame rates have recovered a bit. Still a bit slow, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to sleep off the night, and I've got a few things to talk about. Um, to do with my channel and stuff like that. Now firstly, um, the other day, or well, like a week ago, when I uploaded Quest World Part 4, um, I realised that, well, it's, it's, it said that my account has been enabled for 15 or longer than 15 minute videos, which is great news. Um, so, because of that, I'm going to occasionally, very, probably very occasionally, post longer videos. I won't be doing it often because um, I'm limited by uh, bandwidth. But yeah, so that's quite cool. And I'm just going to take this minecart out towards the oil field where I've been getting all my oil. Now another thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, my Weeping Angels video. And that did pretty well, you know. It's hit a th like over a thousand views, which for me is pretty good considering most of my videos get 25 or less views. I've only got 5 subscribers, so it's, I'm not exactly... Uh, well known, and I'm going to be going off YouTube, aren't I? Not, not quite. So, yeah, basically, I was really happy with the success of that, and um, I was kind of gutted not to get any subscribers off it. But you know, at least I got my uh, video out there, and it's still getting views, like at least 20 per day. So it's quite good. And also, I did receive a few negative votes on a, uh, mainly on the Weeping Angels um, video, but also on a couple of others. And I've got no problems with that, you know. I know I don't like record in great quality. I don't upload in high definition, etc. But um, like, I could, I prefer constructive criticism. So I'm not really having a whinge or anything, but. I'd like to, you know, improve. I mean, I'm, I'm limited by sort of 
the resources available to me, but yeah. Um, also, it would be real handy if you guys, if you actually like my video, you can uh, you know, press the thumbs up. It's real helpful, it gets me onto like, the related pages, stuff like that, related videos. And yeah, that'd be really good. Also, subscribe if you really, really like it, you know. It's really helpful. And also, one thing I'm going to try out, this is not related exactly to my channel, but rather my videos instead, is I'm going to try time lapses. Um, now, what I might do is, uh, in multiplayer, get someone else to re like, re record while I'm uh, building something. But what I might, but what I also can do is uh, just time lapse my own stuff. So if I'm building something in my Let's Play, for example, that's quite big, I might time lapse it. And also, if I'm running somewhere, which I'm going to do after this to test, um, I'll time lapse that as well. So this is basically my uh, pump for my uh, oil. There's a massive underground reservoir down there. Um, and in desert biomes like this, there's often lots of little oil pools like that. that are only like one block deep. But down here, um, I'm not really going to look at it, but basically there's oil on the surface here where I'm standing. And basically just oil filled this like, filled a one by, well a one block wide uh, vertical tunnel straight down and there's a massive reservoir down there. And all my, I accidentally pumped way too much and all my pumps are, uh, all my pipes, not pumps, all my pipes are full of oil. So I'm not running out anytime soon, especially with how much is still left in the reservoir. Which is great. So I'm going to try my time lapse now. I'm going to run back to the I'll probably run back to my base. So we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, well... Time lapse. Interesting, right? I hope it worked, I don't know, I haven't exactly edited it yet, I'm still sort of live recording this. But anywho, um, that probably about concludes what I have to show you for this. I mean, I could go into so much more depth, but that would take quite a number of videos. Um, I really recommend this mod, and also put it in exchange. On its own is a really fun mod, I didn't really show you anything to do with that, apart from the... Uh, Jimmy Vitello Density and the uh, Alchemist Chest. But, um, yeah, that's both great mods. I'll put the link for everything in the description. If you liked this video, thumbs up would be great. Um, and any constructive criticism or comments or suggestions of what, what I should do in the future would be greatly appreciated. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.